Hello, my name is Sarah B, and today I'll be explaining how dice rolling works in D&D. Let's start by going over how dice are referenced in D&D. You've definitely seen this dice before. In D&D, we call it the D6. D stands for dice and six because it has six sides. We also call this dice the D4 because it has four sides, and this one the D20 because it has 20 sides. It'll be the same logic for all of the dice. What does this mean? Well, let's go over. One D20 plus five. First, we roll the d20 once. I got a 15. Now we add 5. So I would say I rolled a 20. Now we have 2d6 two d six plus, two D6s plus 3. That means we roll the d6 twice. So we got a 2 on the first roll and a 4 on the second. We add that together to get a 6. And then we add the 3 to get a 9. So in that case, I rolled a 9. Not all the dice are equal in this game. Most of the dice are only used to roll damage in combat, except for a d20, which is used for skill checks and attack rolls. Before we can explain skill checks, let's go over skills. Here's the stat block. Each of these are the general abilities of your character. The number in the little oval shows how your character compares to the average person. A 10 would be average, above a 10 is above average, and below a 10 is below average. So to recap the stats, strength is how much your character can lift. Dexterity is how fast and swift your character is. Constitution is how healthy your character is. Intelligence is how smart your character is. Wisdom is how knowledgeable your character is. And charisma is how likable your character is. The skills are skill sets that come from each of the stats. You'll need good charisma to be good at putting on performances. Some skills have a black dot. That means the character is specialized in them and gets to add their proficiency bonus when they're doing a skill check with them. All right, now it's time to do skill checks. A player will do a skill check whenever they're trying to do something they could reasonably fail at. If a player wants to eat a hot dog, then they just eat the hot dog. But if they want to win a hot dog eating contest, then they would need to do a constitution check. The first part of a skill check is to decide which skill or stat is relevant to what the player is trying to do. Then DM must decide the DC or difficulty class for the roll. That's the number the player will need to roll or higher to succeed. If it's really easy to do, then the number should be below 10. If it's really hard to do, then it should be above 10. Then the player will roll their d20 and add the appropriate modifier. You can find your stat modifiers here and your skill modifiers there. After that, the DM will narrate the player's success or failure. Let's do an example. Let's say this fighter is trying to win a race. Racing involves running, which that would fall under athletics. So I would ask the fighter to do an athletics check. I would say winning a race is pretty hard, so I'd make the DC a 16. When the fighter does their athletics check, they'd roll their d20, and they got an 18. The fighter rolled an 18, but they also have a plus 5 in athletics, and a proficiency, which means an additional plus 2. That would make a 25 total, which is more than enough to succeed. As a DM, I would tell them, as you race through the track, you left all your opponents in the dust, effortlessly earning first place. Sometimes the party will have to do a group skill check. Let's say they're all trying to lift a boulder or search a room. This works like a normal skill check, except for all the players will roll, and if half of them succeed, then they pass the skill check. Perception checks are a bit different. That's because your party will be doing so many of them. You'll have to do one if you want to spot treasure, avoid traps, detect enemies. They're so common that you even have a shortcut to do them. Instead of rolling for it, you can use your passive wisdom. Though personally, rolling is always more fun. A fun house rules that if a player rolls a 1 during a skill check, then they'll fail in a hilarious fashion. But if they roll a 20, they'll succeed in an incredible way. Skill checks are a great way to let your players show off, so don't shy away from using them. However, if they're clogging up the game, feel free to simplify them. Thank you for watching this. I would recommend that you guys watch the video about combat in D&D next. It'll go over everything you need to know to run a battle.